Here's a tutorial about the split cam program main options. Here is a split cam main toolbar. Um, for instance, we'll start with options. Um, here you can start with windows, check off anyone you'd like. You could check for updates. For instance, you can do auto or now. Uh, for resolution, you can change the source or you can change the brightness, the contrast. For instance, we can just switch it up a little bit. Get a little darker. Change the color. Next, we will move on to the snapshot. Here you can take a shot or you can snapshot with a five second delay, which takes a picture and then five seconds. Then we have the interval, which you can change. For instance, we'll do the three seconds and we'll do the nonstop. And it takes a picture every three seconds or any any one that you want to do. You can do 10 seconds, you can do 5 seconds, and then you can stop it whenever you want to. And you can see all the pictures. And the last one, you can save the snapshot to the disk. For instance, if you choose one that you like, you can save it and just type it in and save. Next, we will move on to sources. Our first one is webcam. So we're going to choose our video device as our source. Our second one is video. And up here we can add a file for our video source. And as you can see, the video plays right up on the screen. Next, we have our image. Again, we're going to open up our file. We'll do this picture. Play that picture. And as you can see, again, the image shows up on the screen. Our next one is desktop. Our first one is the full screen. Our second one is the partial screen, wherever your mouse, mouse targets. Our third one is the selected screen, which you can adjust to any selected one that you choose. And the other toolbox that we can try out is effects. So here you have our first one, we'll try out the filters. We'll do the, let's see, we'll do the old movie. Um, don't forget to unmark them if you want to close it. And then our second one, we have our backgrounds. Here are all the backgrounds. Let's try out the face items. For instance, there's masks. We can, for instance, do the monkey. Um, we can also try out colored eyes. It's kind of silly. We can do the eyebrows. We can also add some, if you don't want to close it, just make some silly faces. We'll do some ears. And then we'll 
try to put a hat on. And we can just close all those out. And then we can also try out the wigs. And the 3D masks, which are the interesting ones. Get to butterfly. Or you can do the dark Vader. There, we'll close it out. And now we'll move on to the frames. We could do something like this. Now our next one is avatars. We'll do Obama. Uh, then we'll try out some objects. See, we have flags, holiday, fun, sport. Can choose any one. Let's do holiday. And it just pops up on the screen. Then we can also try out the text. Write anything you want. Again, we'll try out split cam. We can change the color. We'll do navy. We can also change the font, the font style, the font size. Make it a little bigger. Okay, and you can see that it also popped up on the screen. And you can move it around anywhere you'd like can also make it bigger. Um, next we can try out the date and time. Again you have the date format, the time format, and the size format. Just choose any one you'd like. 24 hour. We'll do the small one. And don't forget to mark off the show your clock. Otherwise it won't show up on the screen. See and there you have the date, time and the date. Then we can also move on to the custom. And here you can open up any file you'd like. Oops. And here you have it and you can um, change, change the different effects and just work with the, any item that you choose. And after you do all the effects you wanted on your image, you can save it. Save. Our next step is the audio. In our audio, we have our audio channel, which is our video. So for instance, check, check it off. Then we go to our sources, upload our file. Here it is. Now we go back to our audio. And here we can choose up our effects. And as we can tell that effect changed. Our next one is the audio input device, which is our microphone. So you select your microphone, check off here yourself, and here we can change off our effects. For instance, hello. I'll do the echo, and here we can change off our hello, effects. Hello. And as you For can instance, see that the we'll echo did the change echo. from the effect. Hello, hello, oh, hello, hello. And as you can as see, you then we have our audio change, file. Change, effect, effect. Check that off, and here we'll add a file. For instance, we'll do the Adele Rolling in the Deep. Play it. And then, and then we can try out the different effects. For instance, we will do Gargle. And as you can tell that the difference did change with an effect. Now we will go over the PIP mode, which stands for the picture and picture mode. For instance, if we go to our video, 
open up our file. There's our video. And then once you check off the picture-in-picture picture mode, you can see that your picture shows up on the video, on the screen. You can also move it around or make it bigger. Next we have on our toolbox is our Facebook page. Here's our Facebook page if you wanted to look around or like our page, message us. Um, next we have our YouTube, which is already out up here. You can just fill out all the information, your video file, your title, description, category, and you can upload the video. Next we have our recording. If uh, you wanted to record a video or any pictures, um, just hit record, type in a file name, save it, and it's recording. And whenever you want it to stop, just press record, and it stops. But then it does save to your desktop. The last thing we have is on top our other toolbox. Here's our file, our options. In our options, we can also choose our language other than English. Uh, we also have effects on here. And for the help, we have the SplitCam online website. And we also have the about SplitCam if you wanted to find out any other information. In our help toolbox, we also have the hotkeys for different combinations just to make it easier. Thank you for watching the SplitCam tutorial. I hope it was useful.